Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about movies. And I want to talk about movies is because the time of the movie star seems to be over. Um, and it's gonna take a long time before it come back. And and I see that these studios are starting to not give these um actors these big contracts. Like everybody looks like they're gonna have to be doing some Netflix or some Disney Plus thing that your movie most likely is not going to be in the in the box office and it's most likely not going to get that big ticket selling and even even with all of that's happening people i want to i want people to understand a reason why a lot of this stuff isn't working anyway and why all of it uh, why hollywood is working against themselves is because they put agenda over art dumbest Almost all of the movies that are coming out have some form of political or agenda statement in it, and you wonder why people aren't even showing them. So, Jungle Cruise flopped, Snake Eyes flopped, Black Widow flopped, Mortal Kombat flopped, and you know why they flopped? You know why these these movies right here flopped right now? Is because they put agenda over art. Dumbest, dumbest, all of you. You 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 wonder why these movies are these movies and shows are failing. The same thing. You are putting agenda over art every time. So even if you could get these box office, these massive box box office takes or whatever and stuff like that, the reason why it doesn't stick is because the movies suck. And most people do not want to watch crappy movies, especially movies that have agenda and po politics over anything else. You're like, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Race swapping, gender swapping, sexuality swapping. Need I say more? Women are more important than men. Men are stupid. Women are powerful. Women looking like damn dudes. Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. I gave you your answer on why the, these movies are doing terribly. And then when people talk about it, when fans and critics are talking about it, the real critics, not the not the ones that the media signed up for, what does the, the media and the, and the um, celebrities do? They clap back. The studios clap back. And certain off. Well, we're not going to listen to those set of fans because, uh, you know, they're not important and we're going to focus on diversity and inclusion. Okay, you just told a quarter of your audience to fuck off. Okay, cool. They fucked off. I wonder why they're not watching our movies. Hmm. I wonder why too. Or Kevin Smith, Um, if you guys didn't like He-Man... You just didn't understand the, the the um show, man, or you never watched the original series. Hmm. Says from the fake fan who never watched She Ban and had to hate watch it. Or Black Widow. I wonder why Black Widow failed. I don't know. Maybe it's because you killed her off, you dumb bitches, and waited until after she died to give her a movie that people been begging for for twelve years. I mean, hello, hello. Then men can't be can't be smart in the movies. Then, then if the man is is supposed to be supposedly the star of the movie, he gets sidelined by the female character. Mad Max Fury Road, anyone? Yeah, it was a good movie. It was a good movie, but they still sideline Mad Mad Max. It was a Furiosa movie. It should have been called Furiosa Fury, but you know, we wouldn't have watched it because that's not what we signed up for. Luckily, they, they pulled it off where the movie was so good that a lot of people didn't think about it. But it happens. It does happen. I just don't understand what you're not understanding. These movie stars and these, these A-listers and actors and actresses and companies done got so far up their asses that they forgot why they're doing this it's not for them it's for us 
Your job is to entertain people, not preach to them, not tell them what right from wrong. Your job is to shut up and eat the damn banana and make me laugh in simple terms. If you don't like it, if you don't like that you have to entertain your audience, if you don't like the certain audience you have or whatever, guess what? You're in the wrong business. You're in the wrong business, so take your ass somewhere else. But stop coming up in here and changing things around and expecting us to watch these movies. A lot of these movies suck nowadays because it's the same nonsense. You give me the same thing all the time, every day, and you wonder why most people are just over it. <sighs> like, you make it make sense to me. You tell me, how can we make the movies better? People have already been telling you how to make the movies better. Don't race swap. Don't gender swap. Don't sexuality swap. Don't make it mainly females. Dummy, respect the history and lore of the characters. Respect your fans. Give your fans what they're asking for. If your fans saying, hey, I want to see Man of Steel 2. Hey, I want to see Batman with Ben Affleck. You don't just say, we're going to ignore that and we're going to do, hey, what if we do a black Superman movie? Not one, but two of them. And let's do a Batman movie that has nothing to do with any of the other DCEU movies, but Batman, but with Twilight Sparkling Fairy Bitch Princess. Oh, okay. <laughs> or even with the Marvel movies. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if Loki wasn't even the main character in Loki? And they sat around and talked. And an alternate female version of him was imp more important than he was. Or Doctor Who. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if we replaced Doctor Who with the female and retcon 50 years of history? Ooh, and my favorite one, let's take Star Wars. Disney brought it. Okay, the extended universe is out of here. The only thing that counts is Star Wars, Clone World, um, Clone Wars, um, the first three original trilogy movie. I mean the all um the all six six movies, and a few things that we decided here or there. So literally 50 years of history out the window because Disney didn't want it anymore. Hmm. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Star Star Trek. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if we get rid of everything that made Star Trek Star Trek and actually put politics, agenda, and sexuality more important than anything else? No? Well, we're going to do it anyway. Oh, oh, hey. Classic white characters in that um, are superheroes. Let's get rid of them and replace them with white black people oh you don't like that one asian people <laughs> bravo marvelous oh wouldn't it be cool if we brought back terminator right but let's kill off john connor magic magic right oh what if we did space jam 2 right and we put in lebron james one of the most hated NBA players right now. And let's replace Lola Bunny with um voice act original voice actress with Zendaya boring ass. And, and and let's get rid of her 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 original character design, the character design that was appealing towards the audience. That made her interesting of why she was sexy and appealing because people underestimated her because she was sexy and appealing. Ooh. Let's get rid of Pepe Le Pew because he, he um brings in rape culture. Even though you had Clockwork Orange and it Penny Win um Penny Pennywise the clown. But you had a whole bunch of villains just chilling out in the basketball game like it ain't nobody business. Make it make sense. Ooh. Or let's do this. Let's make the villains the heroes and let's make the heroes the bad guys right because that's interesting right i know i thought of it too i thought of it too it's so amazing 
so amazing. Like, who cares about the heroes? The heroes are boring anyway. Heroes are way more interesting. Even though they, 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 they kill numerous people all the time. They go to jail every time. But nobody never gets the death penalty at all. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. And it's, it's, it's literally the same thing with these movies. You guys put more more agenda over art. And it's, it's all about um, quantity, not quality. And these movies just aren't doing it anymore. These movies and shows are not doing it anymore. And it, and it sucks. It really does suck. Because there are a few good movies out. But there's few and far between, though. And then when a movie does come out and stuff like that, if it doesn't have the certain agenda-driven things, then it gets buried in a nonsense of racism and uh, istophobics and all kinds of stuff or whatever. Or then we're even using companies to um, protect the movie studio's feelings for the audience don't like it. You can't keep saying it's just a few people because your sales are proving it's not just a few people. Because you guys aren't breaking even a lot with these movies. Uh, more movies today are becoming flops than anything else. But hey, you know, I don't know much of nothing, right? I'm just some dumb person who just talking out his ass. But it, I mean, at this point, how many times are we going to keep watching these movie studios fail? Until they understand, like, you're going to have to go back to basics. And you're going to have to go back to old. And you're going to have to go back to what people like. You really are. And it's okay. It is okay. Failure happens. Failure happens. And you have to grow and learn from it. But this mentality of it's it's the fans' fault. You mean the fans who don't have the money to, to tell the studio what they want to do? Because if it was me... If it was me and I was putting the money in there, oh, you best believe you're going to listen to what I said because I put money into this stuff. And a lot of people haven't. I mean, I, I mean, most of us don't put money into it because we're not the executives. We're not the shareholders. So, you know, that's a whole committee right there. It's just kind of sad to really see how Everything kind of went wonky for the movie industry because it didn't used to be like this. Well, it didn't used to be like this for most entertainment, but you know, hey, a skeleton, bare bone Hollywood movie industry is what we're getting right now. And they got to recover, but they got to start listening to what the people want. You got to give the people what they want. It's okay. It is okay to give people what they want. Ignore the Twitter people. You know what I'm saying? If they're not, you know, stopping you from putting that movie in a, in a movie theater or something like that, you shouldn't be worried about nothing or nothing. Nothing or nothing. At all. But those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.